once in a while, we just have to say it. Fuck us. That's what I was thinking. Focus. Whatever. That's not rock. rock. Play with the devil, die with the devil. Now, back to good, wholesome, politically correct entertainment. Oops, <laughs> wrong station. <laughs> You got that right, man. Wrong station with that PC stuff. Welcome to WMMRDB Rockford Motorsaka Madhouse. We got some biker news happening right now, baby. We're going to check out Flying Motorcycles are here, man. They're going to phase two. This is something very interesting. Wait till you see it. Some Tron or Jetson looking shit, man. Also, Richard Rollins, man's going to the aisle. It's going to be pretty cool, man, seeing him out there racing. Got a nice looking bike happening. Then we're going over to Ozzy. Our crazy Ozzies are up to it again, man. That's all I can say is they're crazy over there. They do got some good looking uh, women, though, every time I look on Instagram. That suckers are nice looking, man. Holy cow, are they nice. Anyway, let's go and talk racing. Everybody knows who Richard Rollins are or is. Awesome freaking stuff. He, I, you know what? I actually love that show. I really do. Uh, they're going to the TT races, man. Kind of like titties, titties. Anyway, I do that one right in the middle. There is the gas monkey bike. Better known for creating some incredible custom cars on the hit TV show Fast and Loud. You gotta admit, some of them cars are bad ass. Rollins and Gas Monkey Garage also have a soft spot for motorbikes. Don't he uh, have a bar or something like that? I should have really looked that up. Their latest venture has nothing to do with customizing bikes and everything to do with the Isle of Man TT races. Them races over on the Isle of Man are crazy, man. Just craziness. Peter Hickman, five-time TT winner and holder of the outright lap record. Of 37.75 mile road course with an average speed here of 135 miles an hour. And the FHO racing team have announced that Gas Monkey Garage will be sponsoring the team's entries into the Super Bikes race. Boy, those are beautiful bikes, man. My problem is I kill myself on it. The last time I had a Katana, I was like, yeah, I got rid of it after a week. I'm going to kill myself. The speed is just unreal on these things. You get that tunnel vision, all that stuff. The TT races are looking increasingly likely to take place in 2022 after a two-year layoff due to COVID. Hickman will be riding in all six races overt the course of the TT week, which is traditionally held in the first week of June. Uh, Gas Monkey is going to be sponsoring the BMW M1000 RR machine that Hickman will ride in the two Superbike TT races. Rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. Going to get that freaking Gas Monkey on there, man. Look at that sucker. I love that damn thing. Going over to Boston. WWLP. Boston police confiscate 50 dirt bikes from self-storage. Investigation is underway after 50 bikes uh, or dirt bikes and ATVs were found inside a self-storage unit in Roslindale. The bikes were discovered last Friday by Boston police auto theft unit. Police said the bikes were confiscated. As a result of a coordinated investigation involving the Seekonk Police Department, it's unclear whether any bikes were stolen from the, the Motorsports Nation in Seekonk earlier this week. Two days prior to the bikes being discovered, police said seven people broke into the motorsports shop and stole nine bikes. Sad state of affairs, man. However, two of them were left behind outside the business. 
And another two were later found abandoned along Route 6. It was uh, the stores offering 10 G's to anyone who can identify the suspects. Here is the big one. <laughs> this is craziness, man. We're going to be like the Jetsons in like 10 years. Uh, and this is coming from Jetpack Aviation. Flying motorcycle test reaches round two. And there is the ground, you know, they're great for these jetpack stuff, but now they're getting into some weird stuff. I got to get me one of them. I got to get me it. Anyway, there are some of the models right there. There's a fast configuration, a piloted. Look at him, man. He's like riding on a crotch rocket and stuff. That's auto stabilize uh, the optional winglets so you don't look like a bird. Uh, then this is the type of stuff that we're going to be seeing in about 10, 20 years. I'm glad I'm going to be old because I'd probably fall off and bust my head on one of these. Uh, with the versatility of something like this small capacity aero machine setting sky high expectations in both the government and the community proper. They're going to be excited to see what Jetpack Aviation turns up in a couple months. Man, they have these things even doing firefighting and uh, forest fires and stuff. This is going to be, the technology is unreal. Uh, let's see here. The speeder will be totally unique and modular aircraft capable of extremely high speeds over distances potentially as high as a thousand miles. A thousand miles in the air. Holy cow. Hmm. It can be configured as a manned flying motorcycle, an unmanned ultra fast cargo drone, a firefighter platform, or potentially even a manned pocket F 35. Capable of approaching the speed of sound. Star Wars is here, folks. Star Wars is here. Now, Hell's Angel arrested. Why was Hell's Angel arrested? They claim the charges are going to be explained here. As per the latest report, Luke Maloney, alongside two other people from the Hell's Angel bikies, is seized and charged over an attack that has happened in Melbourne. However, the investigation is continuing and they will appear in Melbourne Magistrate's Court for a remand application. Since the news of uh, the arrest of the Hells Angels bikey boss, the cyber citizens are keen to know more about him and desperately looking for further details. Bikies are like superstars over there, man. They are. Uh, his attorney, Damian Shields, admitted there was a solid case yet had appealed for bail with a 10,000 guarantee. The bail application for him, notwithstanding, was rejected. Sad state of affairs. Now, why was he arrested? According to reports, Luke Maloney is seized over slamming in Melbourne alongside two of his partners. A man in his 20s was attacked at a property on, uh, in a reservoir, as pointed out by Echo Task Force. All of these with these echoes. Criminal investigators, he obtained general chest area injuries before running away. Officials attacked six properties throughout the city, recalling uh, three for a reservoir and others in uh, different places, as well as a clubhouse in Seaford. They took an assortment of guns, weapons, and other things. According to Maloney, was charged of purposely causing sincerely wounds. <laughs> I think if he was fighting, maybe he was sincere about it. Including widely causing authentic wounds, attack, attack with a weapon, blackmail, making plan for toxins, and submitting a chargeable offense while on bail. They say stay tuned. <laughs> and this goes uh, further into it, uh, talking about the assault. Uh, again, this stuff is in the description and the show notes. 
uh that so they go into uh more detail in this one 30 year old uh man he was the president uh has been charged with extortion assault with a weapon along with intentionally causing serious injury recklessly caused serious injury well i don't get that if you're reckless you're reckless whatever uh 40 year old uh reservoir man who is a chapter president of the gang and was already on bail Hmm. and the sergeant at arms and then they talk about the echo task force blah 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 who wants to hear about this you guys are weird over there, okay? I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to do it, okay? What's with the all the task force, echo this, echo that? Come on. Can't you just say cops? No, you gotta be like you're some James Bond type of deal. Anyway, that's Australia for you. There's all kinds of different cultures. They do all kinds of different things. You know how it works. Anyway, we're going to go over to the second half of the show. You can listen to it on Discord, download the app on Google Play, Insane Throttle Radio, or listen to it on Insane Throttle TV. We're going to go right now to a kick-butt song. We'll be right back with China Dow. Catch you later. 